Hello everyone, this is Gregor, welcome to the stream. And uh, tonight we'll be doing more on Acronox. <laughs> uh, let me see, yeah, there we go. Lovely. And hopefully this time without much in the way of... Uh, like, um, camera issues. Fingers crossed. So, where did we left off? Where did we leave off? Wow, I cannot English. I cannot English at all. So, we are in the Rainbow Sanctuary. Um, which is the place they send all the heretics at. Mm. Now then, um... It's probably gonna be like a short level, but I kind of need to check everything. <laughs> uh, because this place is missable. Once you are done, you cannot revisit. And I don't know why I speak like that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was kind of like trying to pay attention. Um, my my voice is kind of like feeling a bit better today, so I'm gonna be trying to maybe I don't know um, voice a few of these, like or at least read them out loud. <laughs> I've never noticed her name. It says Miss, Mrs. Cache Pants. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a, a James Bond reference or something, <laughs> like Money Penny or whatever. Cache Pants. I don't know. Maybe. Welcome to the Rainbow Sanctuary. Is there anything I can do for you? We'd like to see your Dr. Roe Bowman. Congratulations! You're her first visitors in the six months she's been here. <laughs> Let me just get here on the line. Have a moment. Dr. Bowman? Dr. Bowman, are you there? Hello? Doctor? <sighs> she must have disconnected the line. She can be difficult sometimes. Let me walk you to her office. So it is like the, the fun bit. I'm afraid the B-Bot will have to wait here. Security reasons. <laughs> Pal, you better stay here while we see the doctor. I'd hate for you to touch something and accidentally short yourself. Whatever. Ready? So it's like a... Um, this also like kind of like... Door panels. Kind of like in a Simon Says uh, kind of game. Uh, I don't think think you actually need to remember the codes but I might also be wrong security pretty ridiculous I know and I also don't think the codes change over time so if I had like made notes of them I might be able to like use them again so, um, let's see. The Scientific Association adds insult to injury by forcing heretics to relocate here to the Rainbow Sanctuary. How are we supposed to get any work done this close to the starport? Hmm. <laughs> yes, because that's the issue. Oh! Screw me! So there's, there actually are collectibles here that you can, like, totally miss. That sucks. So I'm kind of like now wondering, is it like one of the, those like red BP3 things around here too? I remember finding them all back when I played this game, so... Uh, I don't know. I excavated this 3 million year old Brebulon skeleton from a dry riverbed last month. Unfortunately, it's missing important pieces. Okay. My theories concerning the evolution of the Brebulon species are controversial. Refuting some of the most cherished beliefs about the origin of their people. Yeah, that's always a smart idea. In a political move typical to the scientific association, I was downgraded to heretic status and to placate the large contingent of Brebulans on Sunder. Ah, like so, Gemini. Glory! I never thought my gracious and munificent benefactor would ever smuggle in a contact. Just in time! The prototype is ready and operational. All I, is require, all I require is final payment. I don't remember which one of these two is like the correct one though. Um, I don't think it matters much. And I also don't remember what you get as a reward. Very well. Be very careful not to break the seal before placing it in a sterilized environment. Ah. You look ridiculous in that costume by the way. Thanks. Like, 
It's kind of like a, a running gag in this game that everyone always like makes fun of boots for some reason. Are you ready to continue? I mean, yes. Come on. How about this guy? Hi. The only way to lose your heretic status is to hope your political enemies who put you on the list are either out of power or dead. I've no such luck. <laughs> like, gee, you think? <laughs> that would explain why you're still here, talking to me! <laughs> still with me? Good. So the first one I think was red, green, red, green. The second one was like a semicircle, like red, green, blue, yellow. And this one was, um, oh shoot, yellow, green, yellow, green, or something like that. I don't remember. I've got like more important things to remember, like loot all the stuff. <laughs> Almost there. Aha! Uh -huh. Bad there timing, we... fellas. Yep. I'm in the middle of something. In exactly 57 seconds, the particles in this mass super accelerator reach maximum velocity. Working with this high harmonic pulse generator and metaplasmic interferometer to reproduce specific spatial conditions, which, Whoa. if I'm correct, will unlock and activate this test sample of Mistech. So whatever you want is gonna have to wait. Spoilers, it's not gonna end well. Are those Witherspoon time signature drives? <laughs> you know they are, Mr. Matavastros. Yeah, I know you. I practically lived in your museum two summers ago. You never noticed me, Senpai. So, <laughs> who's the meat puppet? He's my tough guy. Ignore him. <laughs> Tell me, did you calibrate against Gassican frame references? Won't Brownian delineations muddle your Tardion count? Yes. If I was testing for Tardions. But if you're not testing for Tardions, then that would mean... Stand by. I love all of the camera cuts, though. It's, they're, like, very energetic. Even if a bit, I don't know, nauseating at some point. Aha. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying no. Ms. Tech is from a future universe? Well, I can't prove it yet, Shock. but yes. <gasps> and that's not all. Remember the Rudolph anomaly just a few months back? What? Look the at reindeer? The readings I took <laughs> off the Ms. Tech at the time. What are you saying now? That Ms. Tech responds to spatial disturbances? Yes. And the bigger the disturbance, the stronger the glow. Smaller ruptures in the fabric of the universe wouldn't register to the naked eye. The glow but... would be too faint. But get a strong anomaly nearby, and we'd be seeing fireworks. Uh-huh. Uh, Mystery. No, seems a bit much to swallow. Doctor. I figured you'd say that. Doctor. Oh, no. Oh, hell. Oh, no. Oh, what? We gotta get out of here. Out of the lab? Out of the system. We don't have much time. Move! Readings show that a huge anomaly hovering over the planet will reach critical mass in about 8 minutes. We could use my private shuttle to get off the planet, but I lost the docking bay cart weeks ago. Help me find it. I know it's somewhere in the lab. So, there's like a place you can find that it's somewhere around here, but I don't... No, come on. I wanna save. Save! <laughs> Damn it. It's somewhere around uh, here? No? I don't actually remember. Oh. So 
So yeah, uh, this is like the tense escape sequence. Um, let's see. What was it? Oh, never mind. So yeah, you're totally supposed to be taking notes there. Uh, no. Was it? Okay, I might remember them slightly. So can we just like warn anyone? I know I never tried this last time. So probably not. Just like got the taco, we got the like the side quest for the resistance, so that's fine. Um, there we go. Exit through here, I think. Yep. Service tunnels. Yes, the sewer level of this game. Because like one of those was bound to to like show up. I think we need to make it out of here. Well, uh, like three or something minutes to spare. Because um, then you also need to navigate the um, what you call it the God damn it the um, the spaceport. I don't actually remember where you're supposed to go. It's not this way, but there's also like items around here that I might want to pick up. It's kind of like a tricky balance there. <laughs> like, do I want to look around for all the items, or like, can I like not risk dying? That way. So it's like items here. Oh, fine. Like, again, I'm not sure if there's anything critical that you can miss in here. Like that way or something. Okay, this is the spaceport and we've made it with like four and a half minutes to go. Wait, what? Oh! I'm dumb. TikTok. Hi. Also hi, but no time to talk to you. It's gonna blow! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> so, let's see... Uh, I don't remember which gate we're supposed to be headed to, but I think it's on the second floor anyway. All the way at the end. It's like plenty of time. No worries. So let's see. 
let's see. Uh, I think it's 11. No, 12 then. Aha! Gain the level. And I also think there's gonna be something like a mini game to play here. Take, take everything. Ah! Yes. Engines are warming up. Where is she? Oh my god. I love the, also the way they kind of like implemented facial expressions in this game for for an engine of this uh, no like this old one more minute. Um, at the time it was really impressive but who are you whoa hi I can't believe you waited for me <laughs> Also, this is kind of like a cool cutscene. Oh, yeah. This is a planet we're on, by the way. <laughs> the, the planet we were formerly on. So, yeah, kind of a cool... Uh... See, this is what I was talking about, the particle effects. You, you, you really didn't used to see this in games. Like, in-game. Um... This is usually the kind of effect that would have at one point required like pre-rendered cutscenes. Like Final Fantasy VII did this a lot and kind of tried try to blend um, their actually like 3D rendered models on top of uh, um, pre-rendered cinematics. And it didn't always work all the way. <laughs> Especially when you got like sudden camera swifts and uh, shifts and uh, changes, so like the angle would uh, shift uh, very abruptly. Like when you had like a, a punt, like a. I don't know what the term is when the cam camera like, moves over an object, so the perspective would shift rapidly and the character model couldn't be rotated that fast to follow the. The shift of the pre-rendered background. Like I remember one bit in Final Fantasy VII that was in, uh, I think it was um, the bit where Emerald weapon appears. I think it's like either Emerald no, or like Ruby, now. something like that. Um, and the ground kind of oh, yep, dumb. It's like a mini game as well where you need to avoid all of the uh, meteorites. Yeah. Kind of hard to control, to be honest, because the ship is very clunky. But on the other hand, it's really, really cool what's going on in the background. Like I said, this was a game that, for all its faults, gave a lot of attention to the small stuff, like the background details. Oh. Yeah, I kind of need to be very, very careful. I don't think you get anything for, you know, um, not getting hit, like the other minigame that we played with the hovercraft, like the hovercraft, the jet bike, jet ski, whoa, what's up with the frame rate? Oh dear, frame rate? Hey, we're safe! Woo! <laughs> So yeah, there was like in Final Fantasy VII that cutscene where you get introduced to the weapons and the Emerald weapon kind of destroys the ground from under the party and this big rift kind of opens up be below them. Uh, the camera is moving around very erratically and you're supposed to see Cloud and Tifa sort of fall we'll into the, uh, the fissure We've that opens up. That so, um, you can sort of see the, the character oh. models kind of like jiggle around the scene, like 
they, they're not properly anchored to their surroundings and that was because the character models were rendered in, in real time while the rest of the background was like a cutscene. <laughs> and we're safe! At what cost though? <laughs> It's kind of like a nice cutscene. I'm not going to talk over it. It's kind of like a, one of the funny stuff. The greatest minds of our galaxy, all dead and gone. Gentlemen, science was just set back a hundred years. Yes, it was. Oh, cry me a river, sister. You blew up the planet with that little experiment of yours. You don't know what you're talking about. That mistech you saw was responding to the spatial disturbance that split the planet in half. Nothing more. She's right, Ace. Shut up and stop trying to look smart. <laughs> We've got bigger problems. Engines are dead. Navigation's kaput. And who knows where that cinder spike put us. I can reroute the auxiliaries to pump up life support, but that'll only buy us about two weeks. With any luck, we'll drift into a populated system before food runs out. <laughs> what are we gonna turn to then, man? Try not to go crazy. <laughs> the A1. I love this cutscene. It's like. Is it you, John? <laughs> no, no. He said it wasn't in the Wu Chan system. Ha! Huh, that's 20 questions. You guys lose. So what was it? Anachronox. Man, you guys are dumb. But you said it started <laughs> with a U. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We cried for a while, and I said, if you don't think it's love, then leave. And was it love? The exact words were, it's love, but it's not in love. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Are you sad? I'm all right, pal. But you don't have a home anymore. I haven't had a home since I was 16. I'm okay, pal. Really. Bye, bitch. <laughs> day nine, bust out the violins. Try day 300. Look, you left a sock over there, over there. Is it so hard to pick up after yourself? <laughs> what? I was gonna pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? You, you know my real dad. <laughs> Should we stop them, man? Yep. Let them kill each other. Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! What is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of like a, a, a weird part of the game <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil much Much Mwah. Mwah. Hey, Nognir, welcome to the stream. How's it Step going? Back, sister. Are you kidding? I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, yeah. Spoiler, we have spells now. <laughs> and also we have a Kika's new combat theme. So isn't that nice? So let's see. Uh, fire slug plus. So yeah, we basically have uh, spells now. Space Age Wizards. Well, not quite. The game does explain it later on, but. Uh, 
I think they explain it more with like it's a case of being so technologically advanced that's indistinguishable from magic. <laughs> also, these guys have a lot of health. Jeez. Yay. Got a lot of level ups. So everyone's at like 14. <laughs> Loading. Can I cook or what? The special disturbance that splits Sunder in half must have activated my mistake. And if I'm right about its properties, this isn't the only slug that's active. I think every slug of mistake around the galaxy can now release the energy that's always been dormant inside it. Uh... I guess. <laughs> Why not? Except for the coffee part. I don't, I'm, I'm very certain about that. We were drifting in space for a few days before I noticed that my pocket was glowing. Wait, what? It was a slug that I keep for me. Uh, it was a slug that I keep with me for sentimental reasons. I don't want to jump to conclusions until I could test it out in open space, but I was pretty sure I knew what it meant. I've been anticipating this for most of my adult life. So, if the coast is clear, I want to share my thoughts and findings with everyone before we move on. Let's use that worktop over there. Aha. So, it appears that you need three things to cast mistake. The first and most obvious thing that you need is a slug of mistake, such as the one I employed so effectively in battle right now. Wink wink. As you saw, this one creates a damaging fire effect. For lack of a better name, let's call it a fire slug. If my speculation is correct, different slugs have different powers. So we'll have to experiment with other slugs we run across and test their effects. More on that in a minute. The second, blah, blah, blah. the second thing you need in order to cast mistake is an energy source. Uh, once again, surprise, surprise, <laughs> the theories in my book were correct. The glowing rodents or glodents, originally found on Hephaestus along with mistake, were not a coincidence. So yeah, that's um, how it works. <laughs> In other words, Mr. Boots, all you have to do is get mad at bad people and feel worried about friends. <laughs> mistake should get, blah, mistake should take care of the rest. It's as easy as just wanting to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, what's going on here is that we just got access to the magic system. I don't think we have any, um, like, uh, what shall I call them? We don't, we don't have any except for fire slug. And I think. Uh, Let's see, how did that go? I, I, I think you kind of like have to um, like manually adjust your shield. So the more shield you allot, the less energy you have to cast spells. It's kind of like an interesting system, although the, the, the problem with that is that more or less you need to, um, I guess, um, you need to kind of like balance it and decide which characters are going to get hit and which characters are just going to stay in the back and cast spells. Uh, I th think that spells are also kind of affected by line of sight, so it's not a case of just like hiding your ranged characters behind like boots or someone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's kind of the, the deal here. And there's like different elements like fire slug fire slug is red and they kind of all follow like this uh, schematic here so it's like red purple blue and so on and so forth uh so yeah we're gonna be finding a few soon ish however there we go hi welcome to vote town 
My name is Kiber. I am cultural attaché and diplomatic liaison for the hospitality committee. <laughs> so we are on Democradus. Yep. It's like a weird planet. And if you think the name is weird, it's not a coincidence. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't actually remember uh, this part of the game. I, I always used to kind of like rush through it. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? 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 Why don't I have any party members? Eh? Shouldn't I have party members? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I had them like in my, my back pocket somewhere. <laughs> oh dear. I love the combat theme though. It's like very... It reminds me a lot of uh, Alexander Brandon's work, like the guy that did the Deus Ex uh, soundtrack. It's got like that sort of like weird synth sound. Uh, hey, T12, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Thank you for the follow last time. <laughs> I did not see it in my notifications for some reason. Love the bugs in this game. Yeah! <laughs> There's like a lot of them. Like, we had one last time as well, didn't we? Uh, or was it at the first stream where you we, we got stuck in the combat tutorial or something? So I think that luckily I only need to shoot each of these twice. Assuming I don't miss. <laughs> ah! Damn it! But that's fine, they seem to... Uh, that's fine? Did I say fine? That's fine, no, 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 no. Fine. <laughs> they seem to be missing a lot too. Features. Yes. Um, unintended features of the game. <laughs> like this. The dynamic difficulty adjusting. <laughs> See, by automatically taking your party members away, you get on the fly dynamic difficulty adjusting. So you can savor the experience more. <laughs> and also apparently get shocked to death there's plenty of both <laughs> yeah that's true I mean not for a bit more I think like Hefe Hephaestus is the next major area where you get like insect enemies isn't it uh, but that would be after here, and then going back to Sender Station, and... There we go. Are you dead? You're dead. Yeah, we got this. But like, I also kind of like remember that there's no XP sharing, so... Basically, Boots is gonna get a here, bigger boost here. Since he's like, the only one in the party at the moment uh, but that also means the other three are gonna be a lot weaker assuming I don't die like for lack of trying <laughs> come on come on stop missing What's up with my heat rating today? And suddenly they're they're like all crack shots at it. Oh, there you go. Now you're dead. Like, the combat camera's a bit weird though, right? Like, it's... It's some early... Um... I don't know, like, some... Out of school... Like... 
rookie film editor and there's like all this panning and uh, floaty camera angles all the time <laughs> although I mean they kind of obviously try to like pay tribute I guess or like got inspired by Final Fantasy games but seriously why don't I have any party members and how do you can I even add them back? I'm not sure I can. Mm. Like, was it at the save points that you could do that? Yeah, there we go. Should I have, like, spoken to them? Yep, anyway, I guess this vindicates me in the scientific community. Too bad there's no scientific community left. <laughs> Here, this shield seals... Oh yeah, I forgot to speak with them. See, that's... That's not a bug. That's like a uh, user interface error. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that's... Uh... Oh hey, we got like a lot of Kalosum um, shield thingies. No, just two of them. <laughs> Whoops. Just uh, max out my shields at least. That's fine. So yeah, basically just forgot to speak with everyone before leaving. <laughs> That's fine, no one saw anything. <laughs> so, let's see. I don't particularly like Bo... Uh, Bo? Ro, Ro Bowman? Why did I... Bo? Really? What? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I just dug up some interesting info on this dub. Formerly known as Tevolin II, this planet of Democritus was made up for hardline isolationists before the sudden fall of Emperor Ducalion last year. They've only recently become interested in the interplanetary relations. The whole planet is run by committee. They are extremely bureaucratic, with an elitist class living in a ring floating around the planet and a working class that has been relegated to the surface. Yep. So, basically, this is um, like a very illogical extreme of how democracy works in like planet form <laughs> it's kind of like a, a funny place to be because like all the side quests um wait, what yeah so this is the um the main quest here we need to get a gold council card or something like that. And in order to get that, we need to mess around with elections and votes and stuff. Um, it doesn't particularly make sense, but it makes for a good joke, I guess. So we... Um, we kind of need to speak to a... Uh, I don't remember which people though. I, like, I, like I said, I always kind of like rushed through this part of the game. Hey, Sky, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Well, have you registered to vote? Judging from the absence of a voting button on your sleeve, I'd say not. Here's the deal: you have to pay a loony if you want to stay and vote. A piece. I'm Atrimus Heath, field liaison of the Vote Town Entering Tax and Tariff Commission. Municipal law stipulates that all guests of our city must participate in a democratic process. <sighs> <laughs> All voices will be heard. Since today is an election day, you must vote, and in order to vote, you must pay me a loony to register. Vote or leave. <laughs> but we can't even leave. Sir, that is not my concern. You're required by our laws to register yourself to vote. Please don't make me take desperate measures to ensure it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, 
So check out some of these propositions. <laughs> Shall the maximum ramp angle throughout vote town be 45 degrees? Shall cyclical vomit torture be abolished as a form of punishment for first degree, uh, for, for first degree murder committed by planet dwellers? <laughs> uh, dear. That's like a, a lot of stupid ones. I hope you're uh, I hope you're aware that if you don't vote in today's election, we're allowed to kill you. <laughs> Except you, little Mr. Robotman. Machines are not allowed to vote. What a gip. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, the idea here is to sort of like get the elections uh, like vote. Uh, the correct matters or something like that so you get like a, an audience with the council so they kind of like give you the next quest um, but yeah we, we are kind of looking like for these guys but with six of the blue things on their heads we're in section 8 the administrative region of vote town this is the democratic heart of our society and center of all red tape on democratus Hey, here, everyone has a voice. Everyone is heard. <laughs> the only problem is people are dumb. <laughs> we all know it. We all think it. So if the voting public is too dumb to make the best decisions, there needs to be a system to make sure they don't vote themselves into oblivion. <laughs> I'm no longer comfortable reading this out online. <laughs> uh, that's where the High Council comes in. Each member of the Council represents one of the eight sections of the Votan Ring. They are considered the wisest men of the planet. And are the first of they are the first to cast their ballots in the daily election. Since with the ultimate democracy, even how a councilman's vote is the same as any citizen's, it counts as only one vote and is kept secret until after the election. On occasion, when the public votes differently from the council, the visible repercussions are, are often quite negative. Uh yeah. <laughs> to make sure their opinions are an open secret, the council intentionally leaks its votes to the public through various channels. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we basically need to find the guys that have like six of the blue things on their heads and find out the like correct uh, answers to the votes. <laughs> These guys are a bunch of nerds. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one to speak either, cause I'm like playing the guy that's interacting with them. <laughs> so it's not a particularly long section, but there's a few things that you can find here, like collectibles and stuff. So I'm gonna be searching as many like hidden places as I can. There we go. Aha. But you can do it with WSAD. <laughs> uh, there we go. I want to say it's like two. No. Nope. Lovely. What's this? Bane wave. So, Bane Wave is like pure damage mistake, and I think it also heals. Yep, there we go. Do we get any 80 Zora tomorrow? Hmm, I might. Like, um, I was kind of like planning on finishing Anachronox, but uh, Arch Tempered Zora Magdaros is coming out. Arch Tempered Zora Magdaros, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> is coming out tomorrow, so. Hmm. So Bane Wave, I don't remember what its status effect, uh, what its um, affinity is. I think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be white. So that's like the middle um, of the chart. So it would be best equipped on Grampos. So the way um, the system works, depending on where their portrait is on the chart, they have better like affinity they have better compatibility with specific magic um elements 
So raw would be best suited to use like the green ones, which I think is poison. Um, and Grampus, which is in the middle, like is best uh, equipped with the white ones, which I believe are direct damage and or healing. Uh, but yeah, we don't really always have the... Um, um, the margins to just like equip everyone with like their exact element. So that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna make it. Come on. Oh my god, like the... <laughs> the castle like needs to be so precise that... Uh, see? It won't let me place it unless it's like exactly centered on it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be like pausing an Akronox a bit tomorrow just to do like some Monster Hunter. Um, yay! Fire Retardant Roundlet! So this gives me fire resistance, which protects from burning in battle, which is what Boots is weak to, so it makes sense to kind of equip it on him. And give Valesta's bracelet to Pal. So let's see. <laughs> oh, nothing really. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's probably gonna be more Monster Hunter tomorrow. I haven't seen um, AT Zora on uh, PS4 yet. So this is gonna be like a new experience for me. He's supposed to be like the easiest uh, Arch Tempered so far, but the problem also is that you kind of need at least one more person so that you can coordinate and alternate on the interrupts uh, with the, like the, the Binding Spears or whatever they're called. Because the Arch Tempered version is supposed to be able to destroy the barrier in like 3 hits. Uh, I remember reading it does like 40% of the barrier's damage per, uh, per shot. So like fail it like 2 or 3 times um, means that you automatically fail the, the hunt. So let's see... Oh yeah, this is one of the... Like the the people we need to look for. So uh, vote nay on Pipidris. Yep. Right. So we know what to vote on this one. Hey, Tuma, welcome to the stream. How's it going? So <laughs> if you need like one more for tomorrow, uh, I'm probably going to be streaming it. Lovely. So that's like one of the six matters. I'll tell you how the council voted on Proposition 3 if you bring me a tasty quack quack juice from Jejun Juices. Um, okay. Where's that though? That'd be kind of nice. Most likely depending on morning hours with Japanese buddies. Oh, Well, that's fine. I, I'm sure I can manage on my own. <laughs> can you actually even solo that? With, like, only one person? I, I, I guess it's gonna take, like, forever uh, to do it solo because I think I remember also hearing that the Arch-Tempered version only gives you 25 minutes to complete the fight. It's like six minutes, really. Okay. I mean, sure. Excellent choice. Yeah. Like I, I like this like game's positive affirmation. <laughs> Excellent choice. Mm. So I'm guessing it's like the the juice from here, right? Uh, upstairs? Nope, there we go. 
Let's see. Quack quack juice. Nice. I just noticed that all of the drinks here are like duck related. Uh, am I gonna tell my parents? Can I like go even further up? Ah, yes we can. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, we've got this, we've got this. Bane, freeze drop, poisoner, winky wind. Uh, these are all mistech spells. Uh, I think we just like want to get like a winky wind for uh, pal, right? Because winky, I think, is supposed to be like the yellow status effect, and this nope, it's not. It's the blue one, or not? It's not the blue. It's the purple one. Um. Because his uh, mistake affinity is kind of like good, so this means it's like two positions uh, opposite of that. So if we give this C, if we give this to Ro, which is opposite, she's got like a poor affinity to it. Hmm. And if we give it to Boots, it's just good, so that's that, that's fine. But damn, I don't remember what... Uh what each element does, that's embarrassing. <laughs> a bit. Also, I seem to remember that like one of these windows you had to take a picture of a bipedery or something. I don't know what I'm doing rather. Oh, I spent 20 25 minutes with a group. Then start using another weapon. <laughs> I mean. Welcome to Nevo Tabulator. No, I don't want to vote. Yeah, it's... Here is your silver vote note card. Yeah, we don't... Mm -hmm. This one's no good as far as I remember. I've been watching you. Are you going to speak to everyone in the city? I mean, yeah. I change decorations. Yeah, I've heard that like getting uh, two artillery decorations might be a good idea. Um, just because they they, they they boost the cannon damage in like the second phase. So that's also um, a consideration. And I also heard that uh, um, um, the other big difference with third phase, yeah. Oh, whatever. Second is Nergigante, right? Um, I've also heard that the Nergigante phase, you kind of need to actively attack him to push him off. Uh, yes, on Proposition 3, that's fine. Yep. So, in the Arch-Tempered version, you kind of need to fight him. He won't go away after a set amount of time. Uh, so there's that to consider as well. Also, are, is it like an, a regular Nergigante or are you fighting like a tempered one on uh, uh, on the AT fight? Oh, hold on. You can totally use a skill here. Aha! Like, the guy says I'm open to discussion, so um, I think that was, like, the, the, the clue that you needed to use Yammer here. Blah, blah, blah. Shock! Yep, there we go. Yes on Proposition 6. So that's, like, 2 out of 8. So it's longer than five minutes there, it's dead. Yeah, I mean... the it, It's... It, you, I think you're only supposed to, like, take it down to half health before it flies off. I think. I might be wrong, but... I'm under that impression. <laughs> Hi. There we go. Proposition 5. Lovely. So 
we just need a few more. Here somewhere. Greetings, I'm your interface for the vote town lost and found. I'm a standard issue body 12 Bibo bot. Okay. It's okay, I do not mind. I perfectly happy being on the very bottom rung of the very tall ladder of models of Bibo bot. It suits me fine that each and every other Bibobot is leaps and bounds better than me. Nothing I like better than the bottom of the food chain existence here, looking for useless items that my also smart masters have left behind. Stuff a pocket calculator will keep track of. But I digress. <laughs> so the item must have been left around Vote Town somewhere. A lost wallet somewhere in Vote Town. Oh shit, yeah, this is also like timed, right? Oof. Yeah, hold on, I kind of need to raise gamma correction for this. Because there's a lot of dark nooks in Bow Town. I should remember where you could find them. I think it's like uh, some like a, a random series of items and you don't get like any particularly Yep, there we go. You don't get any particularly good rewards, just like money, and after some point they either like cycle back into like the wallet or they just stop. Let's see. I have something you are looking for. Yeah! Seven bucks. Okay. On the pillow? Oh, pillow! Really? Nope, 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 nope. I remember there's like one of them in here somewhere. Pistol upgrade. The octogon. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we're like getting the good stuff now. It's kind of another cool little detail in the game is that all of the all of the weapons kind of have a um. I guess a separate animation, so it, it, it's always like the, the, the effects kind of change depending on what weapon you have equipped. Like uh, Boots' first pistol, the like the the oh, what was it called? They're all like Vistin something something, but uh, I don't remember what that one was called. But it kind of like does like two lightning shots or something, and then you get the the beam one and it does like three beams. This one I think does something that's like shaped kind of hexagonal, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so let's see, maybe in here. Just like looking for a pillow, apparently. Although in reality I'm just like looking for an item that wasn't there before. Because the I think the items don't appear unless you are actively uh, being asked to find them by the the, uh, the lost and found bot. Since not here either. Hmm. It's like further back. Also, I don't think we're actually 
properly timed on this. It's just a the music kind of changes when we are actively looking for something. Uh, let's see. It's got to be somewhere around here, right? Nope. <laughs> so how about up here? In the former dead end. Yep. It's gonna be in some some like stupid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's gonna have been some stupid place, like under a ramp or something. Lost fluffy pillow. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I, I wonder how that idea came to me. <laughs> it's almost as if most games in the 90s did that. Or like the early 2000s in this case, right? This game was like 2001, wasn't it? I think. And I was just talking about this yesterday. So, hold on, where's the... Oh, yeah. Hi. There we go. Five bucks. Gee, thanks. Oh, hi. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So this is the guy with the angle. Yep. And we kind of need to hack the bot for it. Ah, see, I remember now. Four more to go. I'm pretty sure one of them is at the inn, if not maybe more than one of them. Mm. The Republic Inn. <laughs> Republic Inn and Holiday Resort. <laughs> So who would want to... Um, no, what? I'm writing articles for Council News Nightly about two of today's initiatives. The Woji Dorst Herding Initiative and the... The Pass Coffee Initiative. I can't find either one. Uh, okay, so that's ro room for one. And... Yeah. Like the other one, we kind of need to figure out where uh, they're staying. So, yeah, there was actually two of them in this hotel, not one. I surprised myself pleasantly. I think we can find the other one's location from this. Oh. Oof. Nope. Again. Easier than I thought. Here's Das Das Daskan is staying in room 401. Merle Joy is staying in room 201. Right. So let me just check for items before I go. Nope. Three or four. It's like two or one, three or four, four or one. Mm. 
I also think we might have to like pick lock a few of these. Like 201 first, this one here. The second floor, 202, 203. Uh, it's kind of like funny that um, you don't even need to go ask them because uh, the, uh, the three doors that you, you need are literally the only three you can interact with in the entire hotel. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's just do it like for the sake of, uh, of viewership. It kind of becomes a lot easier to do this mini game if you memorize uh, what the like w where each gradient stops in the scale. Uh, so up oh, there, uh, hi. Aha! So proposition four. No, I literally can't read the handwriting there, so <laughs> I didn't even bother reading it. So get a heal crease. The third floor is like 304, I want to say. Oh, what? Ow. Like, jeez. Aha. My carrier going down the toilet. I'm supplied with standard issue, hard foam bevel pillows. And now outworders walk into my room and harass me while I rest. Please, take all of my belongings too. I'd hate for there to be an upside to the day. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't look. <laughs> I mean, sure? Like, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> it's a double up bracelet. Doubles weapon bonus for beat attacks. Ooh, nice. So this basically um, doubles my damage, more or less. The amulet of an alertness. Hey, I'm off to bed. Nice. Uh, have a nice evening, Tuma. Thanks for dropping by. Have an eventful stream, please. No, no, don't, don't, don't wish that. <laughs> like at least get a specify that it's gonna be like the good kind of events, because like eventful stream could also be my webcam dying all the time, like it did at the start of the stream, and thankfully no one was around to see that. Or two. Really? I thought it was like 401. Oh, hold on. Are we supposed to like go through the window or something? Or not? Or is it just like for an item? Yeah, this is just for an item. I mean, like funny things happening? Well, uh, sure, why not? I mean, some dumb book. Not my type of science. Man, who cares about... Oh! Oh, we need raw for this one, don't we? We need her to do her scanalyze thing. Damn it. Oh, this sucks. At least we got a free taco out of it. And I mean, I'm sure for some people, like, my, my webcam going off... off uh... Yeah. Uh, for some people, maybe the, the webcam like dying <laughs> would probably be funny, if only to hear my very very exasperated voice. <laughs> I should have. Oh, you, you, I, I just realized you can't actually save yourself the trip back to the hangar, can you? Um, cause you need PAL to hack the things to get one of the propositions. You need, maybe what? Are these like red ones? No, they're not. They're like orange, right? Yeah. Side for that, I, they should also be like a song if it's one of the red ones. So yeah, you can't actually get out of going back to the hangar bay to swap party members, can you? Because you need Yammer to get one of the propositions and you need Hack to get another. And now you kind of need Scanalyze to get the other one. 
so I'm just gonna make a note of it for now and look around just in case I still need like pal in my party. Mm, just like an item or two that I got. Nope. Hmm. Or is this like the end of Vault Town? I think we haven't been up the ramp. No, we have. We have been up the ramp. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, selfie. <laughs> Say cheese. Kind of sucks that they never really went for a Final Fantasy-ish system where you can swap your party members out in the uh, save points. So now we have to sit through two loading screens and heading all the way to the start of the area in order to swap out party members. For shame, game devs. Like for literal shame. On the plus thing, um, tonight I had some extra time before the stream-ish, so I was kind of looking into 3DS emulation, because uh, I've, I've, I've been really, really, really wanting to, to do that. Um... Oh, damn it. No. I spoke to her by accident. Ugh. I've been really wanting to do that um, that Nuzlocke challenge stream that I was talking about and I really want to do it on Moon or Sun, I guess, because that's the one I have on 3DS, the most recent one. So the emulation isn't like 100% okay yet and I still need to figure out how to set up the layout on the stream so that um, both screens are visible to some extent. Why not the chip capture card? Wait, what? Uh, oh, you weren't around in chat yesterday when we were talking about it. You, you can't use a capture card with, uh, with the 3DS, unfortunately. Uh, or the 2DS, because they don't have a video out. <laughs> uh, the only way to directly stream off of a 3DS is to uh, send it in to be modified. Um, which I believe is done by them, by like whoever you send it to, kind of like soldering an extra little uh, chip on on the console's main board, I guess, uh, which gives it a an HDMI out, so you can then use a capture card with that to stream uh, to capture the the video anyway, um, but. That kind of thing costs upwards of $300 the last time I checked, plus shipping. <laughs> so it's definitely not something that I can afford. And I believe I'm... Oh, hey, can you hear that? Hold on. Hold on. Um, close the music. Hey, there's one of the red ones. So I kind of need to take a picture of it, give me a moment. Come on, come out. Come out. It's like such a weird song. <laughs> Dude, come on. Ah, there we go. Lovely. So, yeah, um, since I do own the original game, I don't think there's like any issue in uh, emulating it. Um, I can have my th my 3DS, my like my 2DS Excel on stream. <laughs> if anyone like shows up and starts like asking questions, but I do own it. <laughs> so yeah, I I don't 
have the $300 to spare for... Uh... Oh, hold on, let me just like, read the, tu the tutorial on this one. Analyze simulates the thought connecting process of Rose's brain as she figures out the diagram or machine. You must select the converters below in the correct order to convert the initial shape and color to the end shape and color. Some converters insist on a specific shape and color to convert from. So it's gonna be like red, yellow, yellow, red, and. Um, nope. Be like. There we go. Yes. The key to effectively analyzing a problem is not to think too hard. Maybe a view from a higher vantage point might prove more illuminating. That's also like the book in like room 402 that we could maybe use this on. But yeah, now that like the emulation isn't like 100% accurate, and there's like a lot of um... oh shoot, yeah, you, you learn a skill for this. It's how learn the principles to construct plasma wall. Yep, it's like kind of like a tutorial thing then. Um... So yeah, as I was saying, the emulation is not like 100% correct yet. Uh, but I think my PC is good enough to handle it at full speed with like a, maybe a few frame drops here and there. I haven't tested it with like XSplit running at the same time, so it might not work in the long run. But at least we can sort of, you know, give it a try. I would love to do one of those runs, but since there's no actually actual inbuilt method to stream from a 3DS, this is probably going to be the, the second best, uh, um, the next best thing. So I think we need to go up there. And use the thing. Let's see. No. Ah. And now we know. I think there's a guy that's gonna spawn there. Or like... Oh, no, hold on, we can now go in. <laughs> yes. Hey. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Lovely, so... Where were the last two propositions at? Like maybe... Hmm. Did I skip an area or something? Because I'm like missing two of them. So that's kind of... Uh, weird. This one's got like four, so this is not one of the... The ones I need to speak to. This one also has four. We spoke to the one up there. Hey, this one's only got one. This one's got none. <laughs> Does it mean they are like the the low tier voters? Hmm. <laughs> Is it like these? No. What is this one? Nope. Might be one of the few that I spoke into the uh, I spoke to in the tunnels or something. Like, uh, nope. 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 Mm. So we got it from that one and got it from this one too. Mm -hmm. And the rest. Oh. 
There's like no one up there either. Or like up here. I remember there were a few NPCs in the next area from here, like the, um, the little circular room here. No? Hmm. Well, this is puzzling. No, nope. none of them are actually... Um, Oh, so how do you find out the last two? I don't remember. I, <laughs> now I remember why I, I, I never paid much attention to this area. It's because it's boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lot of back and forth, and you kind of need to do this in order to get to one of like the better jokes in the game. And probably one of the better joke characters in the game as well. <laughs> But the actual bit of, you know, just running around and trying to get uh, all the votes out. Oh. Hey, this one. Okay. I'll plant one square on your lips, girly. Lean on it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm just missing like the second one, which I assume I... Is it possible to to just go once and now and just like try twice to see which one is the correct one? Or will the game not allow me to get the gold card if I don't know all eight answers? I mean there was like a ballot somewhere around here, right? Come to today's changing today's vote. Right. Shall the maximum ramp and gold throughout vote town be 45 degrees? Oh, I don't actually remember. Let's go with yes. Also, yes. Here's your silver vote card. So, yeah, we failed that. Um, so, one is no. Two is unknown. Three is yes. Like, no, yes, no. Yes, yes, no, no. Mm. Just like make a note of it. <laughs> My memory is not what it used to be. Don't, uh, please don't, uh, don't misunderstand this. Mm. It's like. And why? Four, five, six, seven, eight. The microphone's in the way. Sorry. 
<laughs> now it's four seven eight. So it's no question mark. Yes, no. Yes, yes, no, no. Fine. Still don't remember where you get the second one. Changing today's vote. I don't think it actually matters if you f if you find out the um, like what the votes are supposed to be like. So no, let's go with yes. Then yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Silver. Damn it. So I guess the second one is also no. Hmm. That's fine. So it's like no, no, yes. Come on. No, no. Yes, no. Yes, yes, no. No! Gold Council like card. Yeah! You're voting agrees with the Council. You rule. That's how democracy works. <laughs> Or not but still now we can leave this place i think we come back here just like once more once we get the other two party members uh, after the next one um i also think you have the option of revisiting anytime you want to you know check for collectibles and stuff if you are near the end of the game i want to say so yeah, let's. So you're alive of the council. Mm. Fine. Just like save us. Took us like 20 minutes to do all that thing. Ugh. Jeez. Beyond those doors, the High Council of Democratus faces every decision with will, purpose, and determination. So of course we're just gonna like burst in. What is that? Order, order. Can we please stick to the issue at hand? We must reach a decision before the missiles hit. Sitting here and squabbling about it isn't going to save us. What we require is swift, decisive action. Someone must fly into the hive and destroy the threat. I don't think rushing headlong into conflict yep. is the best course of action for the people of Democritus, Hal. Best course of action? Would you rather sit back and die? There are six scene. Yeah, I love it. I love the, the ending, actually, for this scene. It's, uh, it's one of the more unique um, character uh, like, uh, recruitment things. Oh, you're all <laughs> jumping to conclusions. There's no evidence. The missiles are even destructive in nature. Evidence? The Verulent Hive has been doing this for hundreds of years. Bomb planet, wait for dust to settle, then recolonize to expand hive. What exactly do you think is inside those warheads? Gift baskets? <laughs> That's quite enough. No one doubts your passion for the subject, Councilman, but this is a democracy. All voices will be heard equally, and you've dominated this session long enough. Now, who will be heard next? We will. <laughs> oh, no. Who are you? I've heard enough. Give us a fighter. We'll take out this hive while you guys bicker about it. Who are these people? Are they serious? Uh, could we talk about this for a second? <laughs> you want to get off this planet or not? See? Now that's decisiveness. Get this man a fighter. That's a woman, how? <laughs> Aren't we all forgetting something? <laughs> the 228 Sparrow is a state-of-the-art asteroid fighter. It packs everything a talented pilot would need to infiltrate and destroy the hive. Except our hangar security systems are still online. There's no time for a subcommittee to approve the activation. So you'd have to fight past a division of deadly sentry rowboats just to access the ship. Sir, do I look like I care? Where are the keys? It's kind of nice, like, we don't even have time to form a sub a sub a sub commission. <laughs> steal the fighter and save ourselves. No kidding. Screw the fighter. Let's grab a warship and fly home in style. No. No, I'm not going to sit back and watch another planet be destroyed. Yeah, she's got a point. Paddington, can't let you do this. Your concern is sweet, pal, and unfortunate because you're coming with us, period. <laughs> the robots you're about to destroy are my brothers. I won't help you kill them, period. 
Well, did he just talk smack to me? <laughs> Has he ever questioned you like that before? Pal, how are you feeling? I'm pretty pissed off, man. Congratulations, Boots. Your robots become self-aware. <laughs> just like that. now. <laughs> Pal, self-aware? Hey, where do you get off? <clears throat> Need I remind everyone of the missiles racing toward the planet? Right. Stay put. But we're having a serious powwow when I get back, mister. Ugh! Punch me! See, this is like amazing writing in this game. Like, it's... Um... Oh, why did I hit back? That, that's what that was kind of stupid of me. Um... It's not always like uh, super serious and it's not always like all the way jokes. But it's one of the few games that kind of, you know, has a balance between the two. So you can have your moments of levity and then you can also have like serious drama and stuff like that. Um, I. What? Yeah, there we go. Bug of Glodens. I remember reading like an interview, or maybe it was like the Wikipedia article or something like that, and they mentioned that they specifically were going for this uh, um, mixture mixture of um, styles, I guess, because uh, they deliberately wanted to keep the player off balance. Also, I don't remember which is the correct way. I think this is the way back to the. Town. So it's either like up there or through here, right? Or not? I get lost easily. <laughs> so hold on, I think it's up here first. It's like the cargo bay. That's not where the fighter jet is. That's where all the like the bunch of fights is. Hmm. I do remember that the hive was kind of supposed to be an annoying area, though. Um, a lot of backtracking and stuff. But oh well, still. I like the combat theme though. It's like so mellow. Um, just like move a bit further in. Yeah! So as far as I remember, these guys kind of have like around 450 health each. Which means only Boots can one-shot them at the moment because he has that double uh, damage thingy. The double up... Um, what is it called? Double up something. So yeah, he's basically the only character that can one-shot them at the moment. And since he's like a ranged character, this is why I chose to give the double up to him. Because technically Grampus does more damage uh, per hit because he has like slightly higher uh, um, guts, I think, is the stat. The, the one that affects beat. Um, but in case there's uh, ranged, character, uh, ranged enemies, then I have to waste a turn moving him around. While boots can just like <laughs> sit still and you know snipe them from uh, whichever uh, position of the grid he wants. Okay, it's kind of weird. So this was basically just for the fight and the heal grease. 
fine by me. Oh jeez, and tomorrow is Friday. That's so good. Just gonna stream tomorrow as far as I can stay awake. And then I'm gonna hit the sack for like 10 hours. Because <laughs> locally it's also a national holiday on Monday. So we get like a long weekend. And the next one as well. Uh, so hopefully there's gonna be an extra rested grey this week. Uh, sorry, the next week and the one after that. Let me tell you, Grey needs it. It's so stressful these last couple of weeks. My boss is kind of like away on... Uh... Oh, come on, don't miss. So yeah, my boss is kind of like away on his honeymoon or something. Um... And you know, everything in the office has been going insane. Like people being very very unreasonable for some reason so yeah it's just like you're truly going around like putting out fires all the time because people are being idiots i don't know what it is it's like a, a trustworthy face here because like everyone feels like they should be telling me their problems or something like, go get a psychiatrist, dude. <laughs> or, I don't know. Help. Not to sound insensitive, but... Like... Telling your, like, work-related griefs to a database administrator doesn't really do much for anyone. Just like, you know, stresses me out and that's about it. <laughs> What? Yeah, someone's feeling punchy. <laughs> so hopefully Rod doesn't miss here. This guy dies. That's one down. And hopefully Boots also doesn't miss. Maybe I should look into giving him one of like uh, one of those things that uh, increases the, the hit uh, chance. I don't remember what they're called. Let's see it here over here. Snipe. And this is snipe. Okay. I've always kind of wondered. Oh, hello. What's this? Like old Ducalion shield cell. Hey, we can. Uh, what was it? We can allocate one more to Ro. Uh, so the thing is that with all the different shield cells, they have different capacities for like spell casting and regular shields. Um, like there, there are a few that have say 32 units of shield, but you can only allocate half of that for spells. Um, others like this old Ducalion one, you can allocate the entire thing into shields, which also means that you can't use spells. What? Hey, what? Anyone see one of those like red annoying things? I should like hear it somewhere around here. Somewhere there? Um. I can hear it's an annoying song, but I, I don't see where it is. I don't... 
Oh, I remember. It's like this is like I think this is the one that's supposed to be outside, like floating in space, because this is supposed to be. Oh, there we go. See, it's supposed to be like a window. So now I just need to wait for it to like drift back into um, like visible range. That's a stupid song. Like jeez, that is it. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, come on! It's like it's very hard to see. I don't know why the texture of all the windows like this. I think maybe it's something to do with the, the, the rendering method. Because I, I think I'm currently like forcing some sort of OpenGL emulation here. Um, because that was the only way to get it to display on like a widescreen format. Uh, but yeah. That was weird. Oh, come on, stop missing. Like, it's like a big floating ball. How can you miss that? So, funny story, um, how did we end up deciding on starting Anachronox? Um, originally, my thoughts for streaming this week were Gabriel Knight 3. Um, after having a discussion with a friend over it last week, I kind of was in the mood to, to play it again. <laughs> but funny thing, um, Gabriel Knight 3 does not play well with modern systems. Even the GOG version um, has a lot of issues uh, while running on Windows 10. Um, a lot of which are that the window it produces doesn't render um, like character models correctly. And the text is also kind of like outputted in a very, very weird format. like little tiny boxes instead of characters um, and after trying for like two and a half hours on Sunday night uh, and like ruining my sleep schedule for the week <laughs> uh, I sort of gave up and decided to stream the next thing that I had been planning on streaming from good old games which is Anachronox <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so initially we got like to talking after we we finished Tio uh, last week. Mind if I spread my pilot wings? Wait, what? Be my guest. You. That's gross. Oh, there's also like a mini game here, isn't there? But yeah, the um, I was kind of like in the mood for an adventure game after Tio, but Gabriel Knight really did not want to play along well with. Windows, um, like um, the, the video card, the audio, and like three or four different um, mods that I downloaded that I tried to use. Like there's a, an OpenGL injector that you can sort of fine tune the graphics with, but that didn't want to work either. And also there was like this weird lag like a, a game that came out in 98 or 99 or something like that. I don't quite remember. Let me just check. But yeah, a game that came out like that far back should not be lagging on modern systems. And I'm talking about like serious lag. Like um, for those that are not aware, 
Gabriel Knight 3 was kind of like one of the very first like true 3D point and click games. And uh central destroy team. Do you copy? Hold on. Thumbs up, command. We're locked in, sitting pretty. What's the plan? We are sitting pretty. Yeah. Well, uh, basically, you're to break through the outer defenses, dive as um, deep into the hive as possible. So for those who are in the way, Gabriel Knight 3 is kind of like one of the first true three um point and clicks. And the way they did that, you, you have a cursor on screen, just as you do with an Axronox, but you kind of move the camera with the WSAD keys like you would in a first person shooter. Um, and you also need to use the control and alt keys to adjust your height and your zoom angle. Uh, so, like, you're supposed to move, pan, and uh, shift the the camera view all around the rooms of the game <laughs> and that's kind of where everything dies because as soon as it tries to load a different part of the room i'm not sure how or why they look like this but as soon as it tries to load something that wasn't in your immediate uh, like viewing cone uh the frame rate dies for a couple of seconds and that's so annoying so let's see, it came out in 99. Oh, that's okay, I remember correctly. I think there's like a mini game we can play here. Where you have like to shoot um, things. Yep. Aha! Oh. What? Oh shoot, I forgot that. So this is like, uh, I, I do not remember what the correct path through here is. And I also think you, you need to be like super precise to... Uh... Come on! What? Really? Oh, I know what's going on here. It's because we're in widescreen, isn't it? Oh, that's... It's because we're in widescreen. Well... Yeah, see, I was supposed to like aim at the top. Now everything is kind of like offset. So apparently when you run this game in widescreen, you need to aim slightly above the enemies. Should we maybe try this again and see if, uh, if I can compensate or maybe we should skip this part? Because it's like a whole thing, I think it, you need to blow up three reactors or something like that uh, before you go back to the entrance and manage to go into the hive. But yeah, that's the problem here. <laughs> I modded it to be widescreen, so now everything is like off-center. <laughs> I think I'm gonna skip this part for now. I mean... It's probably not gonna be doable at the moment anyway, because you kind of need to be very accurate for some of these. Oh, I did not think of that. But then again, I don't have like a... Um, like a four to three um, 
like stream overlay prepared so I couldn't have played this on uh, like its original resolution uh, um, aspect ratio. Oh well. Hey, Mistech. Fire Spire. It's like slightly stronger than. Uh... Oh, hold on. We we haven't equipped any. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I can remove one from Hal I get the response of Viking and give them to Ro. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on. I just realized something. What if we give the response of Viking to Boots along with the double up uh, bracelet? That just like doubles his beefiness and then adds a bit more to it, doesn't it? Huh. It'll be interesting to see how much damage he does now. Ah, pew pew. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's make the door to the blue area. Yep. Hold on a second. Maybe Grandpa should lead the way and swat these bugs away with his stuff. Uh, I'm allergic to bee stings. <laughs> Perhaps Dr. Bowman should lead the charge. I have a better idea. Let's take the other door. <laughs> it's like, see, this is like the kind of cool interactions you can get in. Uh, uh, in in games that actually mine the small stuff as well. But they made wine out of Haskins. They ate Raphael for supper. I think I'm the leftovers. There's no way to stop the hive. I don't care anymore. At least the rent is cheap. <laughs> Come on, people. Laugh with me here. <laughs> yeah. So basically we kind of need to find like a, um, a thing where we deactivate the... Um, what you call it? Deactivate the bugs on the door so we can go through the other side. Let's see. No. Just like kill these guys if we can like break through like uh, 800 damage. Hmm. So you can just like save boots for the heavy, um, like the heavy duty enemies. Come on. Charge, charge, charge. I'm not actually sure if I've brought enough uh, curatives here. Hmm. Like in in all likelihood, if we get one more level with uh, like Row and uh, Grampos, they would probably be able to one shot the small ones, and that's more or less what we care about. Because like if we can one shot the small ones and Boots can take care of the big ones, we. I guess we avoid a lot of damage. Like we, we get spared of a lot of hits. Aha! What's this? Boots doesn't have anything to put there. Yep. So, if I'm not mistaken, we are supposed to fight like some kind of like colored bug thing and put them in the correct uh, slots here Uh, 
This, then like this. Uh, Aha! Puzzles! We got them. This appears to control a section of the door in security subsystems. It looks like we could access the inner sanctum through this computer, but we need the component pieces to activate it. We should search these drones for anything that might give us access to the central computer. Oh, and I think I can open the door up there. <laughs> nice. I mean, ask before you do it? So, Grampus is probably out of range. Yep. Hey! Flawless! No damage. I mean, close enough to flawless. <laughs> Come on. Mm. So that's one. It's like another one. No. Was I supposed to do something like close up the the bridge before doing that? Hi. When I was in sc a school, child, one of our classroom activities I'll never forget this was raising caterpillars. Oh. Just saying. <laughs> Eek. Let's see. It's like a pistol for. Yeah. Static pulse injector is for row. A high. It's like a lot better weapon. Um. Nope. So this is what we want to use. Like, yeah, there we go. As I was saying, you kind of need to backtrack a whole bunch in on this uh, like uh, dungeon. It's not really fun. To be honest, can't really do anything about it though. Just like have to power through. Like a lot of the um, of the other dungeons are also kind of guilty of this. Like the one you do on Rick to ship is also kind of a, a huge back and forth between um, like sections of the ship. I want to say. Um, like the other one on uh, like the. The ice planet also kind of a bit like that. Which kind of sucks because this game is already long enough without like forcing you to do like all the back and forth all the time. Come on. Did we get? Nuts Walker. It's like a, a yellow one, right? Yeah, see? Miss Affinity, excellent. Haha. So Nuts is the yellow one, not Winky. Winky is the purple one. Also, using the proper names for the status effect is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, kind of feels like I'm talking about like totally different and very very stupid things actually. Oh, hello, more mistake. Slow strike. Slow. That would be boots, wouldn't it? No. Oh, hold on. Slow is the blue one. Oh, let me just 
check this here. Sword strike is the blue one. Hmm. Unfortunately, um, one of the kind of um, silly things about this game is that for like the vast majority of it, you don't, you aren't really, really, I guess, rewarded for using spells. It doesn't really make sense to use spells over melee attacks because there are no enemies that like are super weak to mistake. Like you can maybe sometimes deal some amount more damage than um, than you would with uh, regular attacks, but for the most part, it's way more beneficial to just assign as much of your uh, shield cell to. Um, like the extra health and just tank everything and uh, beat it to death <laughs> unless you miss all the time <laughs> in which case this happens <laughs> damn it like I'm also sure there's like a way to deactivate the bridges and cut them off uh, yeah see there we go. Although there's literally no point for that. Aside from maybe just, you know, if you haven't been leveling much, so... Um, you, you could, like, use this place for some free XP without risking hits to yourself. But uh, still, it's not that uh, amazing. Let's see. Activate. I think if you activate the other side, it, it closes up. No. So we we wouldn't have been able to get those mistake pieces no matter what we did, right? Poison spin. Oh, okay. This one's for raw. I'm sure of that. Yeah, there we go. Just like the green element. Therefore, poison. Despite the fact that most poisons are in fact like earthier colors than green. Uh... this oh dear enemies whatever shall we do aside from like murder them <laughs> oh come on not in range really like the one in the middle is probably the best one to shoot with uh, boots because he does a lot of damage <laughs> Oh yeah, and also um, Roy is kind of like a melee character now with this weapon, because as well like another of the unique things that you could get in this game. Uh, not every character is just like ranged or melee. Some of them it kind of changes depending on what weapon you have equipped. Uh, like I think Roy's ultimate weapon is also supposed to be melee. Um, this cause like the Tesseract something something but before the Marvel Cinematic Universe kind of appropriated that word for something completely different <laughs> aha Bzzz. no foiled again kind of Yeah, but at least they're missing a whole bunch as well. So that's something. Aha! Punchy! I like it when we miss and there's like all these dramatic camera angles. Like the, the camera will pan around the character and then we just missed. <laughs> so much wasted potential. <laughs> Hey, we got a level. I mean, Ross probably next now, right? Come on. Oh no, more enemies. Why do we keep doing this? Like, is this some way we can infinitely farm these? I don't remember. 
And I don't really think I should try with, like, more or less good on levels at the moment. Like, even versus five enemies. No, it's all misses. Just kill the big dude. Ugh. Miss. <laughs> like, there's an item that uh, increases your hit chance, but I think that was also the one that was, like, 1200 credits to get from Zordos. And at the, at the time, you don't have that amount of money available to you while you're on, on an Acronox. So... Yeah, I guess this can't be avoided, unfortunately. We just need to get lucky uh, before they get lucky. Or lucky air. Let's do this one. Maybe I should... Oh yeah, but I can't use Ro's uh, uh, mistake because I've assigned all of the... Oh yeah, that's the problem with the shield cell that allows the entire like capacity to go to shields. You no longer have enough energy to, you know, cast spells and stuff. <laughs> Damn it. Actually, if I move here, do you think that this means that boots will be blocked for shoot from shooting either of them? Because I think it does, so maybe this is like a better angle for it. like move here a bit closer now like this oh never mind we we totally can't hit it um when both nodes in front of him is uh, are like uh blocked I thought the game was going to be like kind of like weird because there's like two characters in front of you. You can't actually like aim through them, or like between them. But I guess it turns out that you can. So yay! Wait, what? Blue Hive Shard? Oh yeah, that's why we we've been fighting this, isn't it? Um, let's see, Blue Hive Shard. We should have like a yellow one, right? Yellow Hive Shard. Nice. Uh, so I don't remember the way out now. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's like the magenta one. And it's the way back to the yellow one, so that's fine. So not that way. So it's either like through here or through here. I'm gonna like fight them for now. Please don't miss. There we go. Also, you please don't miss. Yeah? Come on. Ah! <laughs> Like, I don't... I, I think she's got, like, a 70 or 80% miss chance <laughs> going by, by the last, like, three fights. <laughs> like, what good are you? I gave you, like, uh, a, a really useful weapon and you keep missing with it. <laughs> like, arg. By, by like boots is suddenly the MVP in this party. Don't miss. There we go. See? I mean she can totally one shot them if she doesn't miss. Maybe that's the problem. Like the weapon has a lot of damage but it's also really hard to hit with. But, uh... Hey, purple hive shard. Let's see, it's like the miss beat. 
Yeah, her bid is like really low. Oof. Yeah, okay, that makes sense then. So hold on. It's like either that way or this way, right? I think this way should be. I wanna say the green one probably. Also, hold on, it's like an item here. Yep. I remember a few things, but there's an item here. <laughs> Bane. Oh no, webcam. Please don't die. Yeah, webcam's dead. Again. Oof. Come on, keep it together. Nope. Calm down. <laughs> okay, this is kind of weird though. It's still on, but it's just like frozen. It's never done this before. Hmm. Wonder oh, hey, and now all of the options kind of like reset. Yay, so now we get to spend like two more minutes just like resizing stuff again uh, sucks to be me i guess hey i think it's like this like the exposure is a lot of uh hmm There's a lot of weirdness going on here. Mm. It was I, Gregor, all along. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay. See, kind of looks like nice now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like a stupid thing with the... Um, the webcam. I don't know what the problem is. I've tried like a lot of things. If anyone in chat has experience in webcams, please let me know because it's been driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, not knowing what the hell is going on. Um, kind of like suspecting a, maybe a cable coming loose in the USB part of it. Or maybe not coming loose, but kind of like a being messed up a bit in in other words i think it's probably something to do with the circuitry or like the electronics of it um, oh yeah sorry jeez there's a lot of there's a lot of them See, when she doesn't miss, she can one-shot them. That's great. But yeah, I think it's kind of like something to do with the circuitry or the cable, maybe. And if that's the case, then I'm definitely gonna need to like spend some money on a replacement. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting paid tomorrow, so maybe that might, uh, I, am, I might find like a replacement. A bit like cheap ish. Hopefully. 
Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't like particularly make enough money off the stream to, you know, <laughs> go out and replace it out of that. <laughs> I don't think I've even, I, I've even like ever reached the threshold for, you know, getting an actual payout from Twitch. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because there's like been a lot of kind people um, donating bits and stuff and may maybe even some subscribers at some point. Uh, but yeah, what can you do? It would have been nice to like be able to uh, maintain the stream just off of that, but at the end of the day it's still like a fun uh, experience even with like all the out of pocket stuff. Especially like if you get to know like... Um, get to know a lot of people that you wouldn't have otherwise met um, and like of course you get to play games and like commentate on them and you know maybe practice practice your your english a bit because i'm not a native english speaker so uh, a bit of practice is always you know welcome <laughs> plus you get to all the cool tech skills like uh fixing webcams temporarily <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> like setting up lighting and uh, sound and all of that like inadequately as one might because <laughs> I'm under no illusion that this is like an adequate setup like, in like any conceivable way yeah -ha. come on just like a bit more damage. This one. Oh, oh God. It's like take it takes forever when there's this many enemies to, you know, actually do stuff. <laughs> Don't miss. Because that's the weird thing with missing. It, it's not as much as I'm gonna, like, die or anything. It's more that the more enemies I kill, the less animations I have to sit through. <laughs> Hey, how come this guy has more health? That's weird. I don't think it's like a different enemy type, so... Does the game actually roll separate health values for each one of the minions? Cause that's not cool. Also we need to kill the guy in the middle so that Boots has a line of sight to the one in the back. Mm. Maybe if we don't miss. Okay, that's fine. Cause that's just like the worst thing with... Um like this combat system is you need to micromanage everything because of like line of sight and melee range and stuff like that like in a regular say final fantasy game um the whole like melee versus range thing is usually just a gimmick it's only used in like a handful of fights like the elevator fight in final fantasy 7 or the um what was it in uh, oh my god, what was the boss called in Final Fantasy? It's like Elvoret or something like that. The boss on the... Um, um, on the radio tower does that. Where it kind of like flies out of range and you need to bring it down with... Uh, uh, ranged attacks before it can charge up. So let's see, we've got blue, cyan, green, that's three. Uh, purple, red, and yellow. So we got all six of them. Lovely. It's time to hit back. Oh! Or not. Oh, do, 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 do. This guy's like. 
Huge. I don't think he's gonna get like one shot by boots. Oh. Okay. So he did. <laughs> Never mind me then. <laughs> hey, what? Did the combat system crash again? Oh god, the combat system crashed again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> when was the last time I saved? Was it like before all of the shard fights? Yeah, so here's what I think is... Um, oh, also autofocus. Here's what I think is wrong with uh, the combat system here. It's trying to load this guy's uh, like dying animation. And it's really not managing to do it. So it's kind of like stuck in an infinite loop. Nice. So we kind of like also need to kill the game. In this case. Oh dear. Lovely. That was just lovely. Grade A. Amazing. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> so where was my last save? I'm kind of like hoping it was... Like, please be at a place after the shard fights. It's not, is it? Blue Hive Shard, that's one. Uh, green Hive Shard, that's two. We don't have the Cyan one. Oh, shoot, we don't have the Cyan one. That means we also don't have the red one. Uh, purple and yellow. Yes, we need to do the Cyan and blue fight. The um, Cyan and red fights again. Nice. I am not amused. <laughs> also, give me a moment to check what the hell is wrong with like the autos, autofocus in this game, in uh, my webcam. Like, why does it try to autofocus? Hmm. It's kind of weird. There we go. Okay, this should be better, right? Like, it's not trying to, like, focus and stuff now, is it? Just, like, check it on the... Oh! Blur match? Hmm. Hi! <laughs> uh, let's see, I think it's... Hmm. Yeah, the game is also kind of like out of balance for some reason. Now, now my forehead is all shiny. It shouldn't be. Hmm. Hi! This did not work out as I had intended, but now I'm not shiny anymore. Yay! <laughs> fine. That That's fine. <laughs> See, you get you, you get like a game, and you also get like a um, like a, a a sort of like stupid, not quite tech-related stream as well. So now you know what 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 you need to do if your webcam stops working as it should. First of all, crack a few jokes, <laughs> and then put your face on the screen in order to calibrate everything. It's like. Maybe I can make like a channel out of that and call it like like, like cam hacks or something like that. <laughs> don't remember to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that bell notification button or something like that. I don't watch too many YouTube things, so I, I I'm not really sure how that's supposed to go. 
which is also like a good comedy tip. Don't try to make fun of stuff that you haven't like particularly been involved in or you know been exposed to. Because <laughs> you're just making fool of yourselves like someone else around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! I killed the guy. Nice. Like, um, you. You're next. Hmm. So, hopefully, he doesn't dodge. That's fine. So now it's just like a matter of like sniping. Uh... Hey, maybe I can heal. Get uh, you healed. I mean, since I'm not using my energy for like anything, might as well just you know heal up and don't don't like uh, waste my life crease my heal creases come on just one more i'm saving after this <laughs> lesson learned like spam your saves because the game likes to mess with you oh come on webcam really Oh my god. Just like sp spend 10 minutes trying to fix it. Yep, and now it's dead. Like for what it's worth, I really do think it's probably some sort of like wiring issue. Except that it's not particularly consistent in when it happens. And apparently now I need to kind of like unplug it and... Oh my god, that's gonna be a mess. Oh dear. So yeah, when this happens and like it doesn't revive on its own, <laughs> I kind of need to unplug the, the webcam and just, you know, um, mess around with the USB slots at the back of the PC again. So I'll just wait until the, this fight is done and like, go do that. Nope. Oh my god, it's like, ah, it's the other one that I was supposed to hit. <sighs> Nice. Uh, let me just comments with the camera anyway, since we have like a, a bit of dead time here until this guy dies. Uh huh. Hey, we've got camera. Now we're gonna have like more fun trying to re re recalibrate it. <laughs> nice. See, the annoying thing is that it also kind of like turns on backlight compensation for some reason. With like no idea why it does that. Um, and it also turns on low light compensation, which it should not because like the room is practically bathed in light with the studio lights <laughs> so i'm like why do you do that mm -hmm. so it, it, it also appears to like have issues like keeping my um my settings saved whenever it disconnects and that might be because I'm like with using um, custom uh, settings directly through XSplit instead of like setting them up through the camera's um, like drivers. Oh yeah, let's go save.
Let's go save, let's go save, let's go save. <laughs> you know, just in case of any unfortunate accidents. Again, kill the big guy, and now we're doing like 1200 damage. Wow, that's a lot. Damn it. <laughs> So, are we taking any bets? Is, is Ro going to manage to hit her target this time? <laughs> Will she make it? Who knows? It, no! It froze again. What? Come on. No, seriously, come on! <laughs> It did the exact same thing. Am I gonna have to like re retry this fight like 50 times until I, you know, get it to work without dying? Uh, that's great. So, how's everyone enjoying this fight? <laughs> it's like the third time we're doing it now. Wait, what? No, that's not the correct save. This one, right? I think. <laughs> no, hold on. Like this way? Nope, this is back to the green area, so... Um, I do have all of the shards, right? Like blue, cyan, green... Uh, Red, yellow, purple. That's fine. Wait, I did have red, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I'm second guessing myself now. Yeah, I did. This is what this game does to you. <laughs> so, third time's the charm. Probably. like it hurt and this one as well <laughs> that's fine just let grandpa's die i don't care so long as we get through the fight i'm just like fine with like wasting one uh, healing item there Can just like use a bindle bug. This probably won't kill them at all, but maybe I think it's like 200 damage. Yeah, 
But maybe the burn is gonna like finish them off, right? Although he didn't get burned. Well, this is fun. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, no. I blocked the boots now. That's like the exact wrong thing to do. Yeah, see? Now I, I, I can't even like finish the fight because I've got this like stupid old man standing in the way. I mean, if Grampus hits, it's gonna be like the end of the fight. And then I'm, I'm not gonna have to stress about the combat like being stuck in an infinite loop again. <laughs> no. Like for a moment there, I, th I, I thought it was like, oh no, it's gonna like crab itself again. But it didn't, so yay. It won't open, these creatures are guarding it. So yeah, I think this is where we need to go put in all the like all the things in the console. Uh, not actually sure though if oh hey, items. Items Hive Moss Oh hey this is also another side quest that you need to do. Yeah this one won't open either. I think there's like five or six different kinds of moss you need to collect. Like later on in the game when you get back to Anachronox. This guy's dead. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So I just like follow this. Go down there. No, hold on. Don't go down there. Like back through here. Save for good luck. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Slightly auto focus acting again or something. Hmm. I, I thought I saw the, the camera like try to readjust itself. Hey the color doors are now open. There's like two of them. Yep. Like I, I think the side one is supposed to be some sort of item you can get. Um Though I'm not like 100% sure of that. Uh, let's see. Let's go through here and then take a left. No, hold on. Take a left somewhere around here. Right. Yeah, there we go. So, this is where we got the moss as well. Yep. There we go. This is this. There's a hole with several slots in this computer. You can really like do anything with it now. Oh, so this is where we need to come after we're done with the boss. Or I think it's gonna be the boss. I don't remember. I don't remember if there's a, a, like a boss in this part of the game. I mean, probably not. But eh. hi. That is it, folks. Could be your mistake in your time. Uh, yep. There's a boss. Or maybe not. Maybe it's like a a cute subversion of uh, like the idea of a boss. Maybe it's like a queen. <laughs> yep. There's a queen. A weird, weird queen. Okay, let's see. Uh... 
Oh shoot, I need to move with boots first, damn it. Like heal a bit. I mean, aside from the fact that I got confused on like both my frontline characters. Damn it. Because I think you kind of like need to use the crystals to stop the ads from spawning. I want to get him to here. So that I can bring boots to the middle and then move boots. Uh, further in. gonna be like a tricky proposition i think i have like one more turn before i start like spamming heals again uh now let's see just like activate the crystal with grandpa's next turn and use a heal crisp plus on you and next turn i can like start setting up shop That sucks. That really sucks. I just realized something. You're supposed to kill this with Mystic, aren't you? This is what the crystals do, they kind of like replenish your... Uh... Oh no! <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna be here for a while. Oh dear, yes, we need eight casts to kill this. So that means 16 turns. <laughs> Cause like you need one turn to activate the crystal to to replenish your energy. So it is like mistag only, right? I, I, I just remember there was like a, a a fight like that. So yeah, just like need to replenish it all the time. Uh, I'm gonna like no? Really? Okay, that's kind of weird. Yes. So we, we need to keep activating the crystals all the time. Oh boy. Isn't this fun? Like, I think I don't want to kill like the, the big dude. Uh, sorry, the small dude, because uh, as soon as I do, he, she's gonna summon like two new ones, I think. So it's probably just like best to blind him and just like spam Bane Wave. And then waste all of my heal graces on healing boots. <laughs> God. Really? That sucks. 
S U C K S. Sucks. Like meanwhile, Boots is getting pummeled. Maybe I should, I should have done the the Fatima shield thingy. Amazing. And this would have taken like so, 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 so little time if I had just remembered to adjust the shield cells for everyone. So that they have some energy. At least, you know, spam the first tier uh, spells. But now I just get to waste my time a whole bunch until Grampus can recharge. Hey, at least we got Bane Wave though. That's like the, the, the biggest um, damage spell that we have at this point in time. Just like another th three casts? Four maybe. Let's see. Plasma Wall. If I do Plasma Wall on here, uh, does she take damage? Also Bindle Bugs maybe? Does she? No, she doesn't. Oh, she does. Really? Hey. Okay, so we're doing like some small amount of damage as well. But yeah, the annoying thing with the plasma wall is that it also kills the small ones. So now she's gonna like summon fresh. Enemies. Kind of sucks that you you automatically get your uh, melee disabled, like your your physical attack, because um, we could could have at least used boots to you know um, remove one of these guys. Damn it! She can't do that either. So. I don't know, keep spamming uh, Flash Blind on... Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna take forever. Like, between this and the three, uh, like, um, crushed battles, I guess. Crushed? I don't know. The bugged one, maybe. Oh my god. It's taking ages. Also... Oh, I was supposed to wait for them to reactivate the crystals, wasn't I? Well... Yeah. I had to wait for the little dudes to reactivate the crystals. She's got like a... A lot of damage on her. So now maybe like use a, a heal grease complete on boots. It's like eating up all of the hits anyway. Just you know keep him afloat long enough for Grampus to finish the job. I think it's gonna take another like maybe three turns, like two more casts. this fun so what's the the red particle effect oh hey I know what that is did we like set the queen on fire and just like because of her size the like the the, the on fire particle effects kind of like take the entire screen <laughs> I mean um, I want to say that's probably it but mm, who knows so let's see uh, 
maybe just like wait until she's fully charged so I can like use the plasma wall so plasma wall cast and maybe another bindle bug with uh, boots and fingers crossed that's gonna like do it I don't think actually one more cast should be enough to win it I think now let's see it does more than a thousand damage anyway the question is just like how much more yay oh that was like excruciating also yeah she, she's also got like Huge alien breasts. Well done. Classy. Keep it classy game. <laughs> okay. Now what? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Okay, I mean, we're clearly supposed to pick up something here, right? Probably. One moment! Hey! They're still headed for the planet. Guess we can do it. There's no friction in space boots. Even deactivated, the missiles would maintain their original trajectory. Ah, science! Bet you didn't expect that mm -hmm. from a like humorous game. So this is like the most awesome uh, cutscenes. Killing the queen should have deactivated all hive weapons and subsystems, including the missiles. You don't sound terribly confident. I'm confident enough to have come back here when I could have made off with your fighter instead. Impact in ten. Kiss you now or later? Later. <laughs> I question the choice of hors d'oeuvres, Councilman. Do the critter fritters truly represent the constituency? Blast the hors d'oeuvres! Surely we owe these people more than a cocktail party. They saved our planet. You're right. Uh, perhaps a parade is in order. Shall we vote on it? <laughs> well. Let's get out of here. I'll warm up the show. Hey, How can we're you back just at walk the away from this? Someone uh, split that station. planet in half intentionally. How can you feel safe knowing someone has that kind of power? I'll manage. Kid, you're a coward and a quitter. So Ms. Tech went active behind our backs. Big deal. Until someone figures out how to use it properly, we're still in the running to make a fortune. Do you mind? We're having a conversation here. <laughs> Mister, I'm not asking you to go all the way with this. I just need two pieces of equipment. But we can even get them here on Cinder Station. Believe me, I wouldn't ask for your help unless there was no one else to turn to. Or you could come with me to the planet of Mistech. I'm close to deciphering a modular element system. I suspect the answer may be sitting in a library on Hephaestus. Or you could repent, you cold-blooded killer. <laughs> Maybe it's time for that new profession, kiddo. Maybe it's time you all let me drink in peace. <laughs> Please tell me this is a joke. Surprise! 
We've come to compensate you for all your generous help. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> I told you they would be surprised. <laughs> it's like the best cutscene in the game. So, <laughs> in case you were wondering, yes, we are actually about to recruit a planet to our party. After much debate, the High Council of Democratus has unanimously voted to join you on your travels. <laughs> As we were saying, we would be honored to join you on your quest. It's the least we can do. <laughs> Our planet is at your disposal. <laughs> That's like the best answer ever. Uh, y you've lost weight. <laughs> We've had the technology to shrink the planet down to this size for many years, but we could never find a practical application for it until now. <laughs> We're afraid that the hives will seek revenge against us. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why didn't you shrink and hide from the hive in the first place? Oh. We didn't think of that. <laughs> it's like the best character in any JRPG you may have played ever. Like, okay, maybe not the best, but... Uh... Like it's probably the most unique at least, right? Like check this out, you have like a character like a character that's an entire planet. You mean like the if you thought the little like satellite rings kind of like looked like ice, that's intentional apparently. <laughs> so um I th think this is the part where you're supposed to um, like, I think you choose which one of the two you're supposed to follow at first. So let's see. Uh... So yeah, the idea is like you, you're supposed to like uh, choose between. Um, hold on, but I have right. Um, which one of the two we, we were gonna get in our party, and the other one becomes unavailable for a certain amount of time. Uh, Uh, I'm not sure which one of the two I should pick first because like one of them like going with Grampos and Locks uh, Being able to make your own mistake which I Think is also the option that allows you to use the um, Like the the bug piles to you know pick up the, the little like modular components to it Like the little colored piles that we found on Anachronox I don't remember what you get if you help uh, Row first, but you eventually end up like getting both back in your party. Um, it's like a very short uh, like split here. But anyway, um, I think this is for me for tonight. Uh, let's see if there's anyone we can raid. We'll be online tomorrow, although tomorrow is probably gonna be uh, Monster Hunter. Uh, because like the new Arch Tempered is out and I would love to try that. Uh, let's see... Close online to Raid. Hey, Raiken's doing like Pillars of Eternity. That's... That's something worth watching, right? Uh, let's see, copy, copy, copy. And... Type in chat to Raid. Raiken. Yeah, so... Stick around if you want to raid like a pretty awesome streamer. Uh, he's doing uh, Pillars of Eternity at the moment. Um, for anyone else that doesn't stick around, I'll see you around tomorrow with Monster Hunter and Arch Tempered Zora Magdaros. Ooh. <laughs> uh, thanks again for tuning in and hope you have a pleasant evening.